band located just across the water in Oakland that blends indie rock with 70s punk and 80s new wave to create a glamorously high energy neon rock sound. Here to tell us more from the band The Hot Takes are members Kyle Smith and Jared Savis. Kyle, Jared, thank you both so much for joining us today on Live in the Bay. Thanks so much. Great thank to be here. Of course, we're so excited to have the two of you here today. And when it comes to The Hot Takes, this incredible band that I just now learned just got started about three, four years ago, tell me how it all came to fruition. It was just beautiful chance. We, uh, I was new to the Bay Area and looking for a new band to form. I'd come from Boston originally and happened to meet Kyle and uh, our now mutual friend Dan Wade, yeah. who's our bass player, uh, started playing together and uh, we were, we added our drummer Chad and then we were ready to go and start playing and the pandemic happened. So everything shut down. Uh -huh. But undeterred, we decided to record our first EP during the pandemic. And we've been a growing family ever since. We've added uh, Jillian, our, our keyboard player, who also sings. And we're going to have one more now, too, which well, I guess what? we'll get to in a little bit. Yes, we'll touch on that in yeah. just a bit. And did you want to add anything to that? Yeah, you know, we met through the, the way all great relationships in the 20, uh, 21st century do, <laughs> online dating. Um, <laughs> right? Yeah, you know, Jared, Jared uh, placed an ad on just a local musician's um, Facebook page and said, yeah. hey, you know, I'm, I'm getting a band together and I have these songs and our bass player Dan and I had been writing some songs and we heard his and we looked at each other and we went, whoa, this guy's way better than us. Let's get in his band. Forget these songs. <laughs> like, hey, we gotta jump on this train. Yeah, right? he's like, did you guys have songs you wanted to add? We're like, that might have been some other guys. I don't, I don't think that was like, us. Nah, not <laughs> nah, we're, we're good. Maybe a misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is amazing, the story of this of the band The Hot Takes. And you recently, just this past year, released your second EP. Yeah, that's right. Here it we is, have and we have a copy yeah. for Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Let me hold this up. We brought now. you a record. I love it. Look at this. We love records. And I, I, I just think, I, first of all, I love the colors. Hot yeah. pink, right? And the black. That's all live in the bay. Hot pink, everybody. Absolutely. See this? It's black a beautiful marriage. Hot pink, live in the bay. Right? That's right. <laughs> it's a beautiful marriage. So tell me all the sounds that people can find or maybe what you want people yeah. to take away from this second EP. Yeah, I mean, they can access it anywhere. It's on Spotify. It's on any place you have streaming music. Um, we have it up for free on Bandcamp, so you can check it out there as well. Um, yeah, so just you know, go on whatever platform you like and, and uh, stream away. Yeah, you know, I say if you like... 70s and 80s, you know, glam, punk, big sounds, uh, keyboards, you know, harmonies, everything that kind of takes you from, uh, you know, the streets of the 70s to the 80s prom, mm -hmm. we have it in this EP, and I yeah. think uh, people are going to like it. And was it kind of difficult to pave your own way in terms of the genre that you're doing? Because neon rock, right? You said you're yeah. taking so many different sounds from the past to create your own sounds. Was that challenging at times? You know, we like to use the term familiar in the future, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's looking at what inspired us, but also just doing something new and fresh on our own, too. I mean, it's not... I just think it's something that people will relate to, but I think it'll be something that they'll be excited about, too. Yeah, well, we are excited to hear about all of this here at Live in the Bay. So where can people catch you all next and come tune in to some of your performances? Sure, so our next show is coming up at the Ivy Room in the East Bay in Albany on March 29th. We're going to be debuting the uh, six-member lineup. Ooh. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be uh, bigger and bolder than ever. Tell me about the six-person lineup, because you mentioned it earlier, so let's yeah. touch on that now. So Kyle was away from the band for a little while on uh, paternity leave. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Daddy duties. That's right. That's right. <laughs> And we added, uh, temporarily at the time being, our, uh, our friend guitar player, Patrick James, who um, has played a number of shows with us in recent months. And it went so well that now, even now that Kyle's back, we're, uh, we're, we're, Patrick is sticking with us. So. You're like, hey, you better yeah. join the team now. You're just too good to let go, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because exactly. <laughs> well, I, mean, I think one of the great things about this band is just like, we're all friends too. We just yeah. get along so well with each other. And it's such, and I think that comes through in the music. I, and I think whenever people have that type of connection, right, you can really feel it sometimes or see that, like you said, through the music or even on camera or on stage. So that's amazing that you guys have that chemistry. What is it that you hope people take away from your music when they do listen? You know, we want them to have fun. We want them to, to dance. You know, we think that 
what we're doing sounds a little different than a lot of the music, you know, you're hearing kind of in the mainstream today. There's guitars for one thing, and you know, you're gonna hear no auto-tune, uh, <laughs> all live, all real instruments. It's gonna sound yeah. like, a, you know, a classic record that uh, is new uh -huh. and uh, familiar in the future. I like that, that's magnificent. And what about for you, Jared? No, I think Kyle really said it well, but I mean, like, I think we put a lot of energy into it too. I mean, like, in terms of what comes forth to the audience, like, it's not just dancing, but I think it's just like, it's an, it's an expression that I think people can relate to, and they'll they'll be able to just dance and have fun, but also, I think it get out a little bit of aggression too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. That that may have perked some people's ears out. Like, ooh, a healthy way to get out the aggression. Yeah. I think put those fists in the yeah. air. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So one more time, the details of where they can catch you performing next. Yeah, Ivy Room on. On uh, Friday, March 29th, that's in Albany, a great, great venue. And then we're going to be playing uh, Treasure Fest, a weekend festival that's um, running, I think, throughout the entire year, the fourth week of each uh, month on Saturdays and Sundays. We're going to be playing Sunday, April 28th at Sunday, Treasure Fest, I think April from 20th. 3 to 5 p.m. Okay, yeah. amazing. So a lot to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. Like. And, mu and much more beyond that, too. Good, so, yeah. good. Okay, well, Kyle, Jared, thank you both so much for joining us today. And shout out to the rest of the band. I hope they're watching, but we're showing them all the love. Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank of you. Of course.